just a quick line. That's it. It is a beautiful thing. Look at that. You're a mom, and you're busy, and you got to feed your hungry boys. And what are you going to do? It's a weeknight. And you did all the clicking and the cleaning. You went to the soccer practice. You went to the PTA meeting. And, oh, no, it's dinner time. What are you going to do? Well, thankfully, Lilith and I are here. I'm Amanda. That's Lilith. Lilith and I are here. We're going to help you with your recipes to help you feed your hungry boys and keep your husband happy. That's what we're here to do. This is Culinary delights Lilith how are you today I am doing great and you are right we all live such full lives we work we take care of the kids we do the laundry we clean the house and then five o'clock rolls around and we got hungry boys at the door you know they're hungry they're, they're so hungry. hungry they come back from their soccer practice and their chess match or whatever it is they, and do. they don't have they're on the basketball team they don't want to wait for three hours while i cook they an just ran track. they did they, yeah. they can't wait no they're three not hours. having dinner at 10 or 11 o'clock right this isn't we spain we're not that. eating at midnight we need our no. meal now we need it for dinner time and there's so much there's uh, you just got back from the store it's a busy day it was a black friday or something like that and i don't know what what happens then yeah you I were all a, day you were in line at the walmart at I just, five in the morning and I just you had, had to get a, another flat screen tv i just had a thought uh -huh. you uh -huh. and i could probably provide like an easy quick simple recipe well, I've got one. Dave. You got one. I knew my. You better believe my it. My brain I got a wasn't lying to me. That's gonna get skit. It's oh. like cutting the line, but in an ethical way. Yeah. All right. You're not cheating nobody. In fact, no. everyone's a winner with this delicious recipe from Better Homes and Gardens oh. in 1978. This one's called Reuben Chowder. I think we did Reuben Chowder already. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? I am sure. It's <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty Not sure. Because I showed it to you. It's, let me guess. It's got cream of mushroom soup in it, or cream of something soup in it. <laughs> yeah, cream of celery. Yeah. I'll yeah. Do, do this one. Yeah, we did. Shit. <laughs> we got the last one. We did a repeat. We didn't do it right. Oh, I said a swear. Oh, let's cut that out. We're gonna get mon demonetized, unmonetized. We'll cut that right out. No swearing. No swear, got to put a quarter in the jar. Wait, are you telling me that we've done this this whole time and I've never sworn? That seems impossible. You're not supposed to swear on culinary. You're not supposed to swear on culinary delights. Jesus doesn't. Jesus mm -hmm. doesn't like it. Swears make baby Jesus cry. We got wives out there who got hungry boys. We got into moms their and hungry boys. Yeah. What, what do you got for us? You're today? a busy mom. We got hung. You got your hungry boys. Yeah. This is one that's gonna save you a little bit of trouble. This is one you can whip up real quick. It's guaranteed to hit a home run, just like your boy Dylan did in his big debut. This one's turkey cheeseburger minis as you can see right there it's got 4.3 stars with 18 reviews you can add your rating and review if you can find this on the interwebs we'll have the link to the recipe down below um mini cheeseburgers count us in this yummy turkey cheeseburger tastes just like the real thing, but it uses ground turkey instead of beef and flaky buttermilk biscuits in place of buns. Well, that sounds just the right thing. Because, you know, when you're a mom and it's so hard to make burgers, they're so hard to make. You got to buy the bun and then you got to cook the beef. It's so hard, but this is going to make it easier, and it tastes just like the real thing. Your hungry boys aren't even going to notice that it's, this isn't a hamburger. You're going to get yeah. these cheeseburger minis. Let me ask you something, because I, I just take issue with that phrasing that this turkey cheeseburger tastes just like the real thing. It's just like the real thing. Just like it a tastes real just burger. like a real turkey cheeseburger? It tastes exactly. No, it tastes just like a real, I don't know, maybe they mean that. <laughs> maybe that's I also have a question. For, I have a question. They took a regular turkey cheeseburger and they miniaturized it <laughs> at the CERN. It tastes just like a CERN big turkey super cheeseburger. Collider. I am not a fan of ground turkey. I'm not a fan of turkey in general. 
Turkey is not a good food. I don't no. think humans are supposed to eat it. If turkeys were so great, we wouldn't eat them just one day a year. We'd be eating them all the time. We do it one day a year, and we're like, this tastes good. But then we're like, oh, God, I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> like, it knocks you out. There's no way. There's no way yet. There's like, it's like a defense mechanism. That's why turkeys can exist. Because if you've ever seen like a turkey in the wild, they're the most shootable thing. Like, <laughs> they're not fast. Yeah. They're slow. They're big and fat. Yeah. And they just like kind of, and they make this really dis distinct, easily to identify noise. So you can, if you wanted to, like, the only thing that keeps them alive at all is the fact that when you do eat them, you immediately want to pass out. It seems like buying buns is going to be way faster than making buttermilk biscuits from scratch. Oh, no, honey, that's where you're wrong. This cheeseburger mini recipe is going to do it. It's only got a few steps. It's got a few easy steps. All right, I so let me... Eating hamburger buns at the store is the hardest thing in the world. They're Who not has time for that? They're not making these buttermilk biscuits from scratch, are they? Of course not. Well, so then... Already, Let's move on to the ingredients. God damn it. One pound ground... Ooh, excuse me. You're burping just thinking about Got dining on these delicious. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, thank goodness that didn't happen in church. One pound ground turkey, one half cup chopped sweet red pepper, one fourth cup chopped onion, one tablespoon vegetable oil, one half cup of ketchup, always great. Two tablespoon, two tablespoon yellow mustard, two tablespoon dill pickle relish. That's for that authentic cheeseburger flavor. Yeah. One tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. That's a fancy one. Do you have Worcestershire sauce in your kitchen, Lola? No. Really? I have like eight <laughs> kinds of soy sauce, though. I've got Worcestershire sauce. It's delicious. I mean, I just... It's just kind of like British soy sauce, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not even sure what's in it. Is there raisins in Worcestershire sauce? I have no idea. It's straight from the, it. straight from the know, streets I, I of no Worcestershire. Worcestershire, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely the most British-sounding sauce I've ever owned. Absolutely. One tablespoon Wor Worcestershire sauce. One 12-ounce package of 10 refrigerated buttermilk biscuits. So... I read that. I was getting worried. I read that as a 112 ounce package of 10. 112 ounce package. These are the biggest. These are cheese. Well, that's how it starts. That's how you make them the size of like a. Actually, house. no. Actually, just to just to correct you, one 12 ounce package of 10. Yeah, no. This is look. Look, if you're going to have to make the biscuits, you might as well just buy like some King's Hawaiian and then you don't have to make those biscuits. Or... Oh, you got to get the package of refrigerated biscuits. I can give you my biscuit recipe right here. It's so simple. It's like four cups of self-rising flour, two cups of buttermilk, and then you shred two sticks of butter into it, like frozen butter. You mix it up, you roll it out, you cut it up, and it's like 12 minutes in a 500 degree oven you got fresh biscuits and everyone's just like you're the best and i'm like yeah i know i'm the best because i just whipped out these biscuits but anyway refrigerated biscuits cool 10, 10 12 ounce refrigerated biscuits One also those biscuits those biscuits don't come out slider size those are too big to be sliders we're gonna shrink them down with the super collider <laughs> Don't forget. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's My bad. The power of science and magic. Later. My bad. Oh, two and a half slices of American. Two and a half. Don't use three. <laughs> Don't you Don't dare use, use three. <laughs> you have to unwrap three, three slices of American. Cut one cheese. of them in half. Three slices of craft singles, and you gotta cut one in half. You gotta wrap it back up in Stick aluminum it foil. Back in there for Put later. Put it back in there for later. Yeah. All right. You quarter them. So you have four corners. Four. Or maybe, ten slices. Uh, you know, maybe it's a little treat for the chef, if you know what I'm saying. Ah, if you got a dog, dogs love American cheese, especially the processed stuff. <laughs> I don't think a dog could cook this recipe. It's far too complicated. All right. <laughs> I think you would just give the dog the cheese. You wouldn't make the dog cook the recipe. Here's the thing. This is, again, we talk about this every time. Why is it not say Pillsbury biscuits and Kraft American cheese slices? Like, this is a missed I opportunity. Don't know. 
I don't know where this this came from. This recipe might not have been sponsored. I don't know. I don't remember where I got I know, this one. But I'm just saying, like, we all know what slices of American cheese are. They're craft singles. I've, I've, I've seen other brands. They're inferior. Um, they're inferior, yeah. They are inferior craft singles. I need my processed cheese food made by a tobacco company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing else will do. <laughs> Oh, and then, of course, the optional, uh, but for our trans listeners, not optional, dill pickle you, slices. Pickles are optional. You don't have to have the pickles, so I don't know why you wouldn't love pickles. Uh, my boys, my hungry boys, they love their pickles. Yeah. Let's move on to the instructions. Yeah, the instructions. Step one, preheat the oven to 400 degrees F. That stands for Fahrenheit, if you didn't know. 400 degrees F. In a large skillet, cook the ground turkey, sweet pepper, and onion in a hot oil over medium-high heat until turkey is brown, using a wooden spoon to break up turkey as it cooks, stirring ketchup, mustard, pickle, relish, and Worcestershire sauce. That seems to me like that's two steps, doesn't it? That, like yeah. You got to cook the turkey, and then you got to stir in the stuff. Well, that's first, it's, distinct you, start steps. With, you start with turkey, pepper, and onion. That's step one. When the turkey's mm -hmm. brown, you go to step two, which is ketchup, mustard, relished, and Worcestershire sauce. Exactly. Worcestershire sauce. Okay. I'm going to just be serious just for a second. I'm going to yeah. give you a good hot pro tip. Yeah. Um, when you're cooking ground beef or ground turkey or ground whatever, ground meat, and you're frying it up and you're browning it, you, you, your best friend is a whisk. A whisk is going to break that stuff right up and get it right where you want it to be. <laughs> Boop. Thanks. Step two. Lightly press a biscuit onto the bottom and up the sides of each of 10 two and a half inch muffin cups. Divide turkey mixture among biscuit lined muffin cups. So all uh, once again, that's what? two steps in one. <laughs> what? Okay, so you gotta get like a muffin container, right? You get muffin right. tray. Then you you <sighs> take the biscuit dough. And yeah, you, you smush it in there on the bottom. You squish it down on the bottom there, and then you scrunch it up on the sides to make like a little cup, like a little turkey cup. Yeah, make a little turkey hole. This is madness. This is insane. What you gotta do? This is what you gotta do? Okay. Make sure they're refrigerated okay. biscuits. Okay. You would, but you, what you're definitely not doing is making the biscuits, using them as buns, and making little turkey hamburgers. Because oh, definitely not doing that. That's what it's called, though. It's called turkey cheeseburger. These are slide. hamburger minis. These are cheese turkey cheeseburger minis. They're but, mini. But if you're not forming them into burgers, but, they're not burgers. They're cheeseburger minis. They're <laughs> minis. They're different. There you go. You got, it's, this is what it is. This is what you got to do. You got you, you to put them in a muffin. <laughs> you are sounding exactly. Yeah. You're sounding exactly like the person defending this recipe did in like 1978. <laughs> you can't just make turkey. We we went through this. <laughs> you can't just cook burgers. <laughs> it's too much work. How is this, this faster? Saving you time. It's not saving any time. This is saving so much time. You got to take that 12, the, the 10 twack of biscuits and you got to put them, you got to scrunch them into your muffin cups. Okay. That's the easy way okay, to do you're it. Okay, you're right. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. Divide that turkey mixture among biscuit lined muffin cups. I like that. Done. I, mean, I wish more things were biscuit lined. Like I, I wish I had like a winter coat that had a biscuit lining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? You'd be that walking be nice. around like Hansel and Gretel. Don't get chased by the big bad wolf. No, no, yeah. no. Thank you very much. Step three: bake for nine minutes. That's it. Nine minutes. Mm -hmm. Nine minutes. Top with cheese. So this, bake this is bottle. also. This is also set, these these are technically so far. Steps. This is two steps. Yeah. In step three, and we're we're not even to the third sentence. So what you're gonna do is you're taking three has you're take several each steps. These, each of these little corners of processed cheese that you've sliced, and you're gonna exactly. delicately lay one on each turkey cup. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah. All so right. you gotta cut them into quadrants. Yeah, little corners. Yeah, put one bake. bake for nine minutes. Top with cheese. Bake about five minutes more, or until the cheese is melted. So you got to keep a sharp eye on that. Cool in muffin cups 
on a wire rack for five minutes. We've said that before. We're, you can skip that. You don't need to cool yeah, I mean, them. Cool that once shit. they're done in the oven, they're ready uh, to they're go. They're done. Um, remove cheeseburger cups from muffin cups if desired. Garnish with the dill pickle. So you're just like That's so it. you're just like balancing a pickle on top of this biscuit monstrosity. As a matter of fact, oh, I, I yes. see you got the picture. Oh, oh no! That's exactly what we're no. doing. What? Why? We're just gonna take what that is- pickle, put it right on the top of that. Look at that ketchupy turkey. <laughs> Now, you might ask, looking at that picture, is that ground turkey mixed with ketchup and onions? Or is that someone's clotty blood? Here's the thing. It tastes... It it, it looks like it could be cranberry sauce. It tastes just like the real thing. It tastes just like the real thing. What that real thing is, I have no idea. Look at that real thing. Look at that right there. I don't think they cooked that cheese enough. I don't think it's melted quite enough. Well, that's the thing. Processed cheese doesn't really melt, but yeah, it like held all its edges. Are you kidding me? But look, like you didn't just say that. I'm sorry. American cheese. I'm sorry. Why it it exists? I'm sorry. I I, I phrased that wrong, but it's like that. You're right. That's not melted. It still held all the edges and stuff. It should be like. Yeah, it's not. It's well. Uh, Look at the size of that fork, though. That's how you know these are minis. Well, I hope your boys aren't too hungry. If your boys aren't too hungry, there's only <laughs> 10 of these. Of course, you got to remember, those are, Goodness those, gracious. Those are full this biscuits your, that have been this crammed down. Snack. This has got to be a snack to tide you over oh. until real dinner time. I have a question when for you. Just make them actual burgers. I have, a, I have a question for you. On the right-hand side of this photo, is that a carrot that's been oddly peeled? I kind of feel like that could be a carrot down there. Doesn't it look like it might be a carrot? Yeah. I can't think of what else that would be. A rutabaga? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Because, like, the, that fork is gigantic, and then there's that big thing in your face. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Know, cause I don't know what's happening here. No. But these are turkey cheeseburger minis. Thank you very much for culinary delights. If you've got a great recipe, send it to us in the comments below and uh, we'll get to it. Take care. God bless.